Auction. Just looking to make a farm truck out of it. You know, got the nice flat bed, real sturdy truck. It's a one ton. Uh, got just a few little issues that we're going to take care of. We're going to change the oil in it, get that all serviced up good, and you know, inspect underneath any any new vehicle you buy. You just want to check it all over good. And uh, we got a few door issues. We're going to walk through, teach you guys some things that need done with these. Pretty regular. Um, you know, very common problems. Very easy to fix, honestly, if you know what you're doing. So. Uh, stuff you can fairly easily t tackle yourself at home and uh, you know just a few few tools and we're gonna get into it and uh, hopefully again have a nice reliable drive it to the farm toolbox on it fill the tank that kind of stuff and uh, be ready to go so let's get into it and see what we can do one thing that's really common with these is the doors start to sag there's pins and bushings in the front. I'll give you a better shot of those here in a few minutes. But they're, uh, when those bushings wear out, that door starts to fall down. The weight of this door, you know, it's a big heavy glass, big heavy door. And like this one, the door handle, you can see is messed up. And uh, honestly, most of this, guys, is from those pins and bushings. They get w worn out, and that's, as that starts to drag, everything's just got more resistance. So you're pulling harder here. You're pushing harder on the inside. It just wears this stuff out. So a little maintenance, change those bushings. It's honestly not a big deal. And uh, we'll get into that. Hopefully, we're hoping, a lot of times the bolts back out of these are a real short bolt. They don't have a lot of bite. Hoping that bolt's just backed out and has fallen inside that door. Uh, if not, we'll come up with a door handle solution. But you can hear, you know, how that drags out of there real hard. And what that'll do is that'll chew up your latch here real bad. And once that starts happening, you got big problems, guys. Uh, the other issue that's going on with this is it won't open from the inside. Again, that's caused by that latch dragging so hard here. You're not, you're not getting it to open, so you're pulling harder on that door handle, trying to get it to pop. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to get into these doors. Really pretty simple. You just kind of got to know what you're doing so you're not breaking stuff. You don't because. You don't want to mar up all your trim and have broken pieces and sharp stuff. You know, yeah, they're old pickups, but there's no reason to take a decent pickup and turn it into a pile of crap. So we're going to get into this and see if we can get her fixed up. Okay, this is the pins we're talking about. There's one right here. It's this greasy pin. There's bushings right inside these pieces. And that's what takes that wear and tear. And as those move... You can see this one down here. As those move that door in and out, those bushings just wear out. And uh, that lets that door really come down. Right here, you can see this one's got some missing here. There should be a roller down on this side, and then your spring should fit in. It's, I know it's hard to see, everybody, but there should be a spring in here. And we'll see what we want to do. We may try to get that fixed up. We're definitely going to have to put pins and bushings. The roller pin is a little more of a job. Um, a little more, a few more tools involved with that just because of how they put this pin in from the factory. You got to grind that off because they flare it out so hard. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's typically best to weld a little bead on the top of that. But that is really nice. You know, on a windy day, you're trying to get stuff out of it and uh, it keeps blowing the door shut on you. That gets old real fast. Okay, first but. thing, 
there's going to be a couple screws down in here and we need to take this trim piece off because this door handle will actually stay on the door when the door panel comes off it will be uh, this is just kind of a trim that goes over it and on this piece guys these clip in to the center they clip into the door handle so when you get into them you'll just want to take a tool and it's just that easy you know I mean they're, they're pretty simple stuff there's gonna be like I said a couple Phillips screws right down in here and then we'll take this cover up here off just like that one clip in it and then it just hooks down in the door panel so like when you go back you just get it clipped on there you line it up with this these are a two piece they clip into themselves when you get a new one this piece needs to come completely out and the whole thing clips on here this one's fine so we're not replacing it. I'm just letting you know and, but then you'll just use your finger and just slide it down into that and then snap it back on and it'll be just the way it was built so then you just want to I always just run my hand around you work on enough of these a lot of them have screws in the bottom these don't but I always just do that for double checking and uh, I believe yeah this just pops out just like that then our electrical plugs are going to be right here and these can be kind of a bastard sometimes and uh, you just you know you get in there you want to use something a lot of times to depress the clip and they'll have a lot of dust and dirt so they pull a little hard sometimes this one's just a little clip right here unplug there just like that that's all unhooked now now the clip that holds this is the same clips that are all the way around this door so you just want to get in there and they're gonna some of them are pretty tight sometimes some of them aren't kind of depends on how many times somebody's been into that door previously there's different ways this is just a standard clip tool it'll kind of get in and you can find a spot in the bottom and just start wedging it in there nice and easy lift up because you'll your belt moldings here will be caught in that door jam so you just pick that up a little bit now there should be an electrical wire running into this it's actually unhooked it's falling out that's not uncommon they fall out and what is uncommon is the light bulb still works so and then this is going to be your door handle guys and it's attached with a rivet right here we're going to drill that out and then this whole piece should, I believe, slide forward, and then the linkages are in the back. So, okay, I went ahead and drilled out the rivet here. Just a, I mean, it doesn't take much. It's just an aluminum rivet. And then, like I said, this needs to come forward. It just slides forward, and then it'll kind of poke out of here. You'll be able. To, I'll show you here once I get it apart. But you got a couple rods. You got one for the door handle and one for the door lock that we'll just have to use our clip tool again. And get in there and uh, it'll just it may take some prying sometimes these are pretty tight sometimes they go pretty easy like that one get down in there there we go okay now what happens is see how that's cracked in there can you see that that's showing up at all let me see if I can but anyways this is cracked across here so what's happening is your door handles pulled out further than what your rod is because it's got that bend that break in it and so your door handles already trying to pull out well then when it's all together you're hitting your trim and it won't let that 
rod come forward far enough to actually release your latch. And so that's, again, it's caused by the pins and bushings, but this is what's currently broken in that door, not letting you get out from the inside. So, you know, picked up a new one just off the rack at the local uh, big chain parts house. Uh, less than $20 for this piece. And uh, it'll go back in just like it came out. Your rods will just clip right back into these. And see how this is all back in one good piece. And uh, should be up and running again. And uh, we'll get her back together and move on to the next step. Okay, so obviously our lock is not in great condition, but you can hear us already throwing that latch again. So we're in good shape there. That is very tight. We're going to have to do some lubricating in there, and hopefully we can get that freed back up. Uh, we're not, you know, if you got a rivet and a rivet gun, pop your rivet right back in there. We're just going to put a screw in it because that's what we have available to us today. And uh, another thing to check when you're in this style of door, these like to back out. These are your screws that hold this inner panel. On this inner panel, you can see maybe here, you got some rivets, your window regulator and everything's attached to that. So in order to get, if you were doing something more involved, you know, if you had to take the latch out or something, you actually need to take the window out of these, which, uh, you know, we might get into later on back on the, other project we got going but for this one we don't need to get in that far so while we got it apart though we want to check these there's one missing here just see if we can source some screws get that all tightened back up uh, it's not really going anywhere but while we're here we just want to take care of this stuff and uh, we'll uh, address that while we're in here and then we'll figure out our door handle and we actually did look around in there a little bit our outside door handle I'm speaking of and our bolt has fallen out and it's actually in here and this speaker's in really prime condition anyways and so we're going to pry this boy out maybe might actually need a another tool here This is just held in with a clip, but they're fairly aggressive sometimes. So. There's our bolt that we'll put back in there. We'll get some of this back together and then we'll deal with that. Okay, so we got the handle in, got the screw in it. We run some fresh screws in these, make sure all these are tightened down. The door handle on the outside was just that loose bolt. The threads were fine. We were able to get it started back in there, and it's all tight and everything. Everything's working good. A little lubrication. This isn't working great, but it's working, and we're going to call that good enough for now. And uh, we're going to get the door panel back on it, button up the inside of this door, and then once we get some parts, we'll get the pins and bushings back together, and this project will be done. Okay, now we're going to replace the pins and bushings in this door. The way to tell if they need them is if you take your door open and you can grab it here and move it, that you need bushings. The repair kit, these just come from local parts house. That's what you're looking for when you go in. And then 
Because the roller pin is broken, this is what's inside there. Your catch rolls on that. We'll have to grind the head of the old one off here, and then this will go in. And then we have to get a new spring, and we've got it stuck in the tool. This will be your spring compressor tool. To take them out, I usually just take a pry bar and pop it out. You know, be careful not to let it hit you. Pop it out and then put it in the clamp so that you can uh, have better control over putting it in. Other than that, all we're going to need for tools is a way to grind that head off. I'm going to use my belt sander. That'll be pretty easy. And then just a punch to shove out the old bushings. Then when we go back, we're going to put the bushing right on this and drive it up in there. And pretty easy. And then any final adjustments we'll make with the door bar. And uh, just that way, because they're always going to sag down a little bit, you want to be able to move it back up. It's not going to take a lot. And, you know, this is just kind of a real fine tune. Not everybody's going to need that. Um, it's going to be hard to videotape, so we're just going to get it together. And... All right, we got that all put together. We did, we did have to bring it up just a little bit, not, nothing too major. And just such it nice. Opens real easy. That would make a pretty easy to work with vehicle. You can see we got all that play out of that now. And uh, we're in good shape. And like I said, we got the oil changed in it and all serviced up. And we're going to go make a farm truck out of it. So uh, I think we're going to call this project done for now and move on. So come see us again next time, guys.